Good evening. Two Christian activists have been arrested after vandalising a Brisbane war memorial because they believe the Bible told them to do so. In broad daylight, they tore a sword from a cross in the Tawong Cemetery and then distributed images of their handiwork. Lachlan Kennedy spoke exclusively to the pair outside the watch house. Handcuffed and barefoot, 61-year-old Jim Dowling and 30-year-old Andy Payne are ready to face the consequences for what they believe was the right thing to do. I believe we redeemed the war memorial. The desecration is, is the sword on the cross and uh, I don't believe we desecrated anything. Dowling yesterday used a crowbar to remove the sword from the cross of sacrifice at Tawong Cemetery. Watch out. At three o'clock and in full public view, 22-year-old Tim Webb then reshaped it into a garden hoe as six others prayed. The sword on a cross is, is the ultimate blasphemy of the Christian message, in my belief. So we... Uh, so, so why not lodge a complaint? Why to go to such drastic action? Well, I thought uh, it would be good to have a, uh, a clear message. They chose Ash Wednesday to send their message, all members of a group called the Catholic Workers' Movement. I think a lot of people would find the Catholic workers' tactics, in this case, controversial, but they do a lot of good work in the community as well. They practice what they preach. City Council Stone Mason is calculating the damage and hopes to have it repaired before Anzac Day. The men have been charged with willful damage to a memorial which carries a maximum seven-year sentence. I wouldn't like to go to jail, but uh, I'm prepared for it. That's what happens. They return to court in a fortnight. Lachlan Kennedy, 10 Eyewitness News.